Okay, so I want to show the most basic video playback. This is like the first video playback that you might do in Max. Um, how do we get Max to play a video? Yeah. So that's going to happen with this object called JIT.movie. Um, every video object that like produces video, plays video, filters video, you know, works with video is going to start off with uh, JIT. Uh, that's because when when Max uh, first came out with objects that could deal with video, they were all they were called Jitter. So um, Max used to be called Max MSP Jitter, and Max objects were just built in. MS, MSP objects were signal processing objects uh, that dealt with sound, and then later on Jitter objects came back came out, and you can install those, and then you had video functionality. Now they just wrap all those objects into what they call Max, and they haven't. It's, it used to be more like three separate products: Max, MSP, and Jitter. Uh, but now it's all one thing. But they've retained the old file names. So um, all video objects start with JIT, and JIT.movie is the built-in movie player. You should show that it's much more complex than what we're going to do. Oh yeah, this is super. I just wanted to show the simplest possible JIT movie playing. So, but if you get help on JIT movie, it's like a really complicated object. It does a lot of different things, um, and uh, we will talk a lot more about movie playback soon. Uh, but I wanted just to show how do you get started. So I've got these four cat videos. Um, the cat videos are in my folder here. They're in the same folder as the patch itself. So we, uh, we'll say this again and again probably, but if you have files, uh, video, audio, whatever, files, in the same directory as the max patch you're working with, that max patch can find those files just by referencing the name of the file. If you squirrel the files away into a subfolder or into some other folder on your hard drive, you have to tell it exactly where to find those things. But if they're in the exact same folder, it just automatically finds them by, by file as name. As long as you've great. labeled it that way, yeah. Yeah, and also don't put spaces in your file names because that can cause problems. Um, because we're using message boxes to load our files, if you have a space in a message box, it's treated as a uh, you know a separate element in that list, and it won't it won't really work. So, um, all right. So we've got JIT.movie, and JIT.movie is connected to our video playback window. And this window is actually a Max object. It's called JIT.p window, and that stands for Patcher window. You can also there's another type of window we'll talk about later where you can have it play a full screen or in a separate window. But uh, for now, let's just use the JIT.p window. And the way you make a JIT.p window is JIT.p window. And it makes it, and you can scale it up and make it whatever size or aspect ratio you want. Um, so we've got our movie window here. We've got our movie player. And um, we want to read in a video. So I'm going to say read cat1.mov uh, and. Uh, I'm going to hit stop. So you could hear it was playing in the background there. Uh, you could hear the sound of the video playing when I hit read cat1. So when you, uh, JIT.movie operates such that when you read a movie and it automatically starts it playing back, um, unless you have an argument that tells it not to do that. But the default is to start playing back the movie the minute you've re started reading it. Um, now we could hear the movie, but we couldn't see it here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the movie again, but I'm going to click this button, which is connected to JIT.movie. The button will give me it will give me a frame of video every time I click the button. So okay, I'm gonna hit stop. So it's playing the video, but it's only giving me a frame of video every time I uh, click the button, which is uh, very weird. I right. mean, that's that's really stupid. Um, so what we always do with video playback is we use this object called Q Metro. Um, Q Metro is a metronome that just produces bangs as quickly as you tell it to. So in this case, um, let me show you. So here, let's do a Q Metro, and we're going to do uh, every 500 milliseconds. So Q Metro 500. Then I need a toggle to turn it on, and when I turn it on, I need to see what's happening. So I'll connect a button. So now when I turn this Q Metro on, it's going every 500 milliseconds it's going to press this, it's going to send out a bang, which is going to fire this button. So you see 500 milliseconds, there we go. So I'm going to use the Q Metro to request frames to update on the screen 
from Jit.movie. So Jit.movie is going to play the video at normal speed, at its regular speed. Um, it's not going to, uh, but it's not going to send out frames until I ask for them. So by asking for them very rapidly, every 30 milliseconds, I'm going to ask for a frame, and then that should produce pretty normal looking video playback. So I'll say, uh, uh, turn on the Q Metro. Now Q Metro is, is sending out bangs really fast, 30 times a second, um, which happens to be every, you know, 30 milliseconds is uh, about 30 frames a second. So uh, which most video is yeah. recorded at? Yeah, somewhere around 30 frames 30 a second. 30 frames a second, right? Um, so now I can read these videos and uh, they play back. I wish I could turn this down a little bit. Um, so this is the sleepy cat. So cat three here is loading the movie and started playing back. And Q Metro is requesting those frames. I could unlock the patch <laughs> and uh, play it. Uh, increase the size of this. I can go to cat four here. They're like having a little conversation. Yeah. Okay, so that is how you really quickly, uh, very Just simply play back video files. Um, what have I? What have I missed here? I don't think you've missed anything. I mean, because really, we're just trying to show that the simplest way to play a video. Yeah. Well, what it might look like. So I'm trying to think of where people are going to screw up here. So let's say I have Cat Five uh, somewhere on my hard drive, but I don't have it in the same folder. When mm -hmm. I hit this button, it says Jit.movie error loading file Cat Three or yeah. Cat Three dot mov. Should be cat five. Should oh can't find oh there it is. Yeah. Okay, can't find file cat five dot mov. Okay, error loading file. So it can't find cat five because cat five is not in the same directory as uh, the patch. So anyway, let's move on. Yeah. Okay.